Welcome back folks to another episode. If I were a doctor got the first tree dump of the year, I still haven't gotten the uh, tree dumps from last year cleaned up, except for that maple which I finished stacking. Uh, this is a, a silver maple of some sort. Uh, I took the tree identifier app on logs that came from that tree and it says silver maple. I don't know what this big ginormous maple is. That might silver maple or something. Uh, that one, I'm not sure. That one might be a hard maple. I'd have to I'm gonna check the tree identifier app, but that's that was uh, dumped uh, last fall. I gotta get that cleaned up. I gotta get this wood here cleaned up first. These odds and ends chunks so I can get the split in that big stuff back there. That's next. Before I go to tackle this latest tree dump. Can't do much about the noise. The uh, neighboring property is getting mowed so but yeah this is a a nice maple uh some of you chime in let me know if there's more than one type of silver maple that's the size of the size of that log this is the big junk uh, that's a big junk got some of the small uppers One of the main branches. There's a lot of good firewood in here. This might be a, a variety of uh, silver maple, so I'm gonna check with my firewood groups and find out. At least I, I got some uh, leaf evidence to help identify because leaves can look similar, but it's how they're all attached that makes all the difference. Especially with pines, they're almost impossible to tell unless you know needle count sometimes, you know. So, yeah, this is a, a lot of wood here. 572 XP will be cutting most of this up. Uh, because I want to cut, and I want to cut fast. And then when I get that little stuff, I'll break out the little saws. So the plan is, is the key is to uh, you know, I was gonna stack it in a separate spot, but you know, maybe I'll just get the clean. I gotta clean that up. I'm gonna take that home this weekend to uh, turn it into mini firewood because this is maple left over from last year. I'm gonna turn that into mini firewood and some scraps. I'll just toss into my fire pit. Yeah, as you can see, I got a lot of wood to clean up yet before I get back over to that ash. Because this maple needs to dry, I got to get it cut. Got to get it cut up. Split, stack, or it won't dry. If I had the number of pallets, I would just make bins and just mound it up. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't bother with this uh, tree service wood. But the price is right free and I didn't have to go anywhere to get it you know so uh yeah you really can't complain this is uh other you could tell where I uh, get you turn back around uh, that you turn back around uh, this could have been from a pruning job these maples will rot extremely fast at the nodes where they got cut off that is why you don't want to top a tree you want to take that branch all the way down to the main leader just take out the whole branch because this is very bad for the tree. That is an extremely weak spot in the tree if you don't prune it right. Look at this growth here. These two must have uh, been touching together and uh, or something and somehow they grew together. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I've seen this in the tops of a lot of silver maples because they don't get pruned. They just get topped. Yeah, so th this wood, uh, except for this very big ginormous piece, I can all handle easily. 
Ooh, there's some burls in here. I might put out a flag to some people that I have some monstrous chunks of maple that has a burl in it. Because this could be extremely valuable to a woodworker. So if they got... What I could do to help them move it is, you know, cut the chunks off. You know, cut the chunks off where they want to lighten it up and then roll it onto their trailer somehow. Yeah, this is a nice uh, length wood. It should take, you know, if I had a helper, it would probably take me uh, a day to cut, split, and stack. That's cut, split, and stacked by myself. A couple hours to cut it up, put the chunks off to the side so I could split it more efficiently instead of moving around from pile to pile of rounds. With my back, that'll take all day to do this. Uh, that's stacking the rounds up. If I just let them lay, you know, half a day. Splitting it, that would be... If I go with the four-way wedge, we're looking at... See. One, two, with the ginormous stuff, the big stuff. Got at least three hours of split in here. Not too bad of a tree dump, so let me know what you think it is. Tree identifier app says silver maple uh, on the bark and the leaf. So that's it, folks, for this one. I got to get home before it rains so I could get a campfire going to get rid of some more of that debris so until next time folks take care of you have to do something have fun doing it